Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and I am doing this one by myself today because Neon is doing something else. But I wanted to make sure I got this video out there. There has been a shakeup at Disney. Sean Bailey is exiting as president of Walt Disney Motion Picture Studios. Okay, if a name sounds familiar to you, we talked about Sean Bailey before because we talked about this article back, I'm not gonna pull up the whole thing, but it was the New York Times, the man reimagining Disney classics for today's world. And it was talking about all the work he was doing for like The Little Mermaid and all the live action films are pretty much this guy's idea. That's him. The live action guy is now gonna be removed as the president of Walt Disney Motion Picture Studios. He's being replaced by one of the co-presidents of Searchlight Pictures. He's, but don't worry, he's not leaving the company completely, guys. He's staying on to produce Tron Aries because being the executive producer is you know, just as good as being the president of Walt Disney Motion Picture Studios. So before we get into any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, I will give you a woohoo, woohoo. And we're gonna talk about this. So according to Deadline, um, Sean Bailey is gonna, is, is effective immediately, is exiting as the president of Walt Disney Motion Picture Studios. He is going to um, be replaced by Searchlight co-president David Greenbaum, who is going to take on a newly created role. So now he's going to be the president of live action and the president of 20th Century Studios. All right. So they're, they're giving him both. They're still calling it live action. So they're probably still going to keep doing these live action stupidity. But live action could also just mean live action films in general, not animated. I'm hoping to God this means they're going to finally get a flipping clue and realize people don't want more live action remakes of films. It's getting ridiculous. I mean, we're down to Moana, which only came out a few years ago, and they're going to live action remake Moana. It's like, just stop. And then this guy, Bailey, would have been the one who was in charge um, during the, the Little Mermaid debacle, where they think, I think they ended up maybe making a profit after everything, like $45, $46 million. That was it. Like after the time, according to Forbes, by the time it was said and done, they, they only made that much money. And every time they put one of these live action films out, that this keep, the, the box office keeps going lower and lower and lower. We saw them do it on Disney Plus with Peter Pan and Pinocchio, and both those were complete flops and were terrible and people didn't like them. They're just over this whole live action stupidity. So they're, the Green Bomb's going to be moving up to this position. And then... The other person who was the co-president of Searchlight with him, which was Steve Asbell. Steve Asbell is still going to be the president of 20th Century Studios, okay? But now he's going to report to Greenbaum, and Greenbaum's going to report to Disney Entertainment co-chairman Alan Bergman. Alan Bergman's one of Iger's people. So they're removing Bailey, and they're making a new position to roll in 20th Century Studios and live action for this other guy, who was working at 20th Century Studios. And the other and and Bailey, no, don't worry, don't worry, guys. Bailey's still gonna be there because he's gonna finish Tron Aries before moving on to more entrepreneurial endeavors. That means dude got shit canned. I'm sorry. He already had a contract, let him finish out Tron Aries. When they say I'm moving on to entrepreneurial endeavors and they're taking a huge step down to do a producing role, no, they got he got he got booted. He got booted. I mean, their Disney movies have not been doing well. And the live action remakes are really, really not doing well. Not doing well. I mean, I, this whole puff piece they had done, which I'm not going to put, uh, pay, I'm not going to pay for. But the whole puff piece, we talked about it before in another video. And they did this whole thing about, you know, he's the, the, the one behind all of this. He's the one that brought like amazing things like Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast and all that. Yes, when it started out, it, they did pretty well. You know, we had some good things in there. They did good. And as it's gone on, it's, they've gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. And they bring that up later in here. Here, they said, Bailey has been a hit factory for Disney with live action takes on The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Jungle Book, all the ones that were from years ago. He's yielded some $7 billion for global box office for Disney, but his live action Little Mermaid where they race swapped it did... $46 million. Bailey is also the one who did some live action, you know, movies for the Disney Plus service, like Lady and the Tramp. That one went well. Pinocchio, which I talked about. He did Hocus Pocus 2, which like, oh, it was one time the most watched movie. Hocus Pocus 2 was dog shit. I'm sorry. He's like, this guy would be the one of the ones responsible for all the stupid changes they're making to stuff for modern audiences that aren't flying well. And it sounds like Disney really, really wants to make money now. 
All right. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm not saying they're going to stop doing live action remakes, but they, they really, really, truly need to. They probably won't because they have so many in production, but they definitely need to get somebody in there who's not an idiot. But, you know, I'm sure he was also told what to do. Greenbaum, one of the reasons they might be bringing him in and moving him up is because he was part of the people that did the Poor Things film at 20th Century Studios, and they're, like, kicking butt, winning awards, 100 million worldwide, which really isn't that great. But it's winning all kinds of, you know, Best Picture and all this other crap. I don't know if it won Best Picture, but it's winning um, all these nominations. It keeps winning awards. It keeps winning all kinds of crap. And they're, they're bringing him in and moving him up to where this other guy was. So Bailey, his comment, what, they got a quote from him from Deadline. And his quote was, these 15 years of Disney have been an incredible journey, but the time is right for a new chapter because Disney flippin' told me so. I'm deeply grateful to my exceptional team and proud of the slate and history you've built together, said Bailey. I joined Disney while producing Tron Legacy, so it seems fitting that I'll have the opportunity to finish my work. I mean, work on the latest Tron as I depart. I wish Bob Iger, Alan Bergman, and all my amazing colleagues the very best for a bright future. Dude got canned. I mean, I don't know this for a fact because they deliberately, you know, skirt around it. They don't say. But dude got canned. He's basically being left to finish out the Tron movie. Uh, he got demoted. He got demoted big time. If I were to guess, that's what happened. They're talking about his different relationships with different, different directors and things. And, of course, they're offering comments, you know, and stuff from these different places. They have Bergman in here. This is the Hollywood Reporter going, David has an incredible creative sense of sensibility and eye for film and he has built a reputation as an exceptional leader and creative executive and has proven his by his track record at searchlight pictures now interestingly hollywood reporter brings this up they said bailey's departure has been rumored for several weeks now because they thought he was going to be the one to replace scott stuber at netflix but that's not what happened so he's suddenly gone but he's not like jumping to something else that's why he's just like an executive produce until he goes on to entrepreneurial ventures because he doesn't seem to have something else lined up and they're talking about how he was tapped as he was a spearhead of strategy of he spearheaded the strategy of moving away from original movies to focus focus on remaking animated classics and live action yes Bailey was that guy who was in charge of all that. He's why they're like the man reimagining Disney classics for today's world, meaning he's making them live action. He's making them for modern audiences and Disney keeps losing money. All right. Losing money. It's a no brainer to get rid of this guy. So his first post executive role will be producing Tron Aries and other producing projects are sure to follow. Okay. Yeah. You say so. Disney seems to want to actually make money. I mean, I will not be surprised if we see some of these live action remakes that aren't too far along get canceled. Like, do we really need a flipping Bambi live action remake? Does anybody want to see that? I mean, unless it's like a horror film and they're, which they're doing, by the way. Why would you want to see Bambi in live action? Like, that's called going on a walk in the woods. Like, why would you want to see that? Literally, my backyard, we've got bunnies and we've got deer. So I got Bambi and Thumper whenever I want them. Why do I want to go to the movie theater to pay money to see Bambi's mom get killed in live action? You know, they don't need Bambi. They had other ones, they were talking about the Hunchback of Notre Dame and they're talking about the Sword in the Stone and they're talking about, they just keep listing all these, these ones over and over. And I know they were talking about Moana and I'm trying to remember what all they had. Moana was on there. I have a list over here. Uh, Lilo and Stitch, yeah, obviously. And you know they're gonna get that one done because they're already pretty far on that one. Hercules, they're already, pretty, they, well, they haven't started filming it yet. Um, Aristocats, there's just a whole bunch of them. They were supposed to be doing Tangled and probably Princess and the Frog. And you know, and then they brought the announcement for Moana 2. Do they need to do a live action Moana after all? I mean, Dwayne Johnson keeps saying they're gonna, but are they? I don't know. It's just interesting because they just got rid of the guy whose brain fart was to take all the animated films and make them live action, which has been touted as one of the laziest damn things Disney has done. And they finally got rid of him after a year full of movie theater duds. Mer Little Mermaid was one of the few that broke even and it made like $46 million. That's it. So anyway, dude's gone. Of course they're saying it's because... They aren't saying, but he suddenly decided, it's not because he suddenly decided he's just going to executive produce a movie and step down from being the president. I doubt that highly. It is what it is. You decide what you think it is. Um, so comment, let us know, and we'll talk to you later.